Hi and welcome students. In this PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and modify charts. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to create and modify a column chart first. And so I'm using a blank slide here with the layout of title and content. And so we have a content placeholder in the middle of the uh, slide. And I'm going to choose this second option right here that says insert chart. All right, so if you're following along with me, I'm just going to use the default on this one, which is column, and I'm going to use this top one here, which is clustered column. So after you click insert chart, all you have to do is just click OK. And then what's going to happen is a chart window is going to pop up, and if you've ever used Microsoft Excel before, um, you, then you kind of understand what's going on. This is a uh, basically a representation of what you see below here. And so all you have to do is type into this area and it will update in real time below what you type up here. So you'll notice that series one, two, and three line up with the legend down here at the bottom, which says series one, two, and three. And so this is where we're going to enter in uh, whatever data we want to show in our legend. So the way that I select this is I click right in the middle and drag over to the next two cells. And so since I have those cells selected, I could then press tab to move between them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the first uh, legend heading here, which is going to be athletics. Okay. So I type in athletics and I press tab. And then I'm going to type the second one in, which is leisure and I press tab and then finally the third one here which is arts and I press tab now you'll notice that as I was doing that down here at the bottom this no longer says series one two and three now it says athletics leisure and arts alright cool so the legend is updated so now what we're gonna do is focus on the categories over here and I'm gonna highlight from category one down to category four and you'll see that these categories here are the um, horizontal axis of our chart and so this is where we're going to type in spring summer fall and winter and so I'm gonna type spring press enter summer press enter fall press enter and winter and press enter and you'll see that all four of those changed right down here that looks good and so now what we're going to do is we're going to select the data that we're interested in now. And that, that data is this one right here from this cell, which is in B2, all the way over to D5. And so again, I just click right in the middle and drag all the way through. Okay, so I'm teaching you how to enter in data into an Excel spreadsheet right now. And this is very important to, know, uh, to do it this way because this way is going to be the fastest and most efficient way. A lot of people spend a lot of time moving their hand back and forth from their mouse to their keyboard because they're constantly clicking on each one of these. Instead, again, we highlight the area that we're interested in and to move down the columns, we press enter and to move across the rows, we press tab. So in this one, and typically how I like to enter in data all the time is down the column and then I press enter between each one. When we get to the bottom, if we press enter, it'll send us back up to the next column. So let's go ahead and type in our first number here, which is 895. So I type in 895, and since I'm moving down, I press enter, and you'll see that my chart has now been updated. The scale over here goes up to 1,000, you see 895, and now you barely see these other ones because the numbers are so small, 2.5, 3.5, uh, very small numbers. So as I continue to type these, you'll see that the numbers then are added in where they're supposed to be. All right, so I'm going to type the next couple, and you'll see that as I type in winter, I press enter again, and there we go. Now you'll see it moved me up to the leisure column, so now I can fill in the leisure column and I fill in those numbers. Again, using the number pad on the right side of your keyboard, if you have one, is the best way to do this. Because basically you have all of your uh, numbers over there, so you can e easily enter them in. Sometimes you'll see my students using the number row above your regular keyboard, and that's a lot slower to do. You gotta look for all of those keys, whereas the number pad, you can type them in a lot faster. So you type in these last couple numbers, and the last number is going to be 710. Watch what happens when I press enter after that. It's going to move my active cell right back up here. Okay, cool. So some of my students, they um, sometimes will get to this last cell and then press tab. The problem when you press tab here is it creates a whole nother row. And you'll see that the right side of your chart will be empty over here. 
And so if I wanted to delete that row, if I did this by mistake, then what I want to do is right click that and go to delete. So again, I right click on the row number, which in this case is six, and then I go to delete. Okay, and so that will fix my chart up. And so now my chart's looking pretty good. You're gonna wanna double check your numbers at this point whenever you're working in PowerPoint. Uh, let's say that the 720 right here, I accidentally typed it as 7020. Obviously you can see the mistake uh, because it'll show up in the numbers over here, but it's always good to double check your numbers. So if your numbers are correct, what we could do is we can close out of this chart window, which is this little X right here. And so I can close out of the chart window. Okay. If you ever need to get back to that chart window, the way that you do that is you go to the chart tools design tab. Okay. You have to be clicked in your chart to see that. And then in that design tab, you go to data over here. And if you click on edit data, you can click edit data right here. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring that chart window back up. So if you ever made a mistake on anything, that's how you get back into that chart window. Okay, great. So the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to edit the way this looks as well as the uh, modify the chart elements. And so the first thing we're going to do is uh, take a look at the chart tools design tab. And in the chart tools design tab, we're going to look at the chart styles group and then click this button right over here. That's the more button. And if you click the more button, it's going to display a full gallery of different styles to choose from. As you hover over them, you're going to see all the different styles. And the one that I'm going to choose is this one right here, style number five. Okay, so I'll click on that one and it will change the overall look of my chart. Okay, and so now we can edit the chart elements. Now notice this says enrollment comparison by category. That's kind of like already a title. I don't really need this chart title here. So one way that I can get rid of it is by changing my chart elements. The chart elements tool can be found in the top right of the chart with this plus sign. It's green. And if you click on that, you can then see what is currently being displayed. In this case, I have my axes, my chart element, grid lines, and a legend. And if I want to get rid of that chart title right here, I click on chart title and it's going to be gone. Okay. And then the rest of the chart will adjust to that being gone. Okay. And so uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on a blank area of the slide to deselect my chart to see what it looks like. Okay. And so this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave this one alone now and we're going to get started on our line chart. So the line chart is going to be on the next slide here. And then this slide layout, if you're following along, is a uh, content with caption layout. And so here's our content placeholder over here on the right side. And I'm going to click on insert chart. And on the insert chart area, this is where I could choose from a list of charts. I said we're going to do a line chart on this one. So we'll click line chart. And within the line chart, you can see all the different types that they have, like line, stacked line, line with markers and I'm going to choose this fourth option right here line with markers and I'll click it and you'll see that this is basically a line chart but it has little dots wherever the markers are okay and uh, then I'll click OK and you'll see that the line chart will be input and now once again we're entering in this data so the first thing once again is I'm going to highlight my series okay on this one I have three different series and so I'm going to type in on this youth and I'll press tab since I'm moving across the row and then I'll type in adult press tab and then type in senior and press tab to finalize it there we go so I have those three now done and you can see down here it says youth adult and senior so that's looking good and so the next thing that I'm going to do is enter in my categories right over here on this one I only have three categories to work with and that's going to be years 2019 20 and 21 so I'm going to type in 2019 2020 and 2021 pressing enter between each one since I'm going down the column okay and now I'm going to type in the data that is applied to these three. So these ones right here are going to be my data. Remember, because I only have three rows of, um, of area that I'm interested in typing in, or three rows, okay, three years worth. And I'm going to type in those, again, using the number pad and pressing enter between each one. Okay, notice that since I only highlighted three rows worth, 
after the third row it doesn't go down to that category 4 that we haven't deleted yet but rather it uh, instead just jumps up to the adult section of 2019 and again pressing enter between all of these and using the number pad on the right side of your keyboard okay so that's the proper way to enter those in now notice that since category 4 is still here on our chart window or our chart display it's showing it just dipping down to zero there at the end so what we need to do is delete that category 4 and so the way that we do that once again is we click on the 5 or rather right click on the 5 and go to delete and then you'll see that it will fix the chart when you do that okay one other way that I wanted to show you how to do this I just did a control Z is you could technically grab the corner right here and just drag up and then that'll get rid of it although I delete actually gets rid of the the data that was there as well but either way is really okay alright so we've gotten that part done now we're going to modify this chart and we're gonna we're going to format it further so let's close the chart window after checking to make sure that our numbers are correct and then I want to show you this button right here which is the chart styles shortcut button it's this paintbrush and if I click on that it's going to show all of the chart styles on the left side on this one we're going to choose chart style 6 as you hover over all of them you can see what they look like I'm going to choose style 6 which is this one right here chart style 6 so again this is the same as looking up in the gallery up at the top but it's just a shorter way to do it so we've chosen chart style 6 and now that we've chosen that what we're going to do is right over here click in the chart title Okay, and within the chart title what we can do is we can type in the title and I'm just gonna type by age category alright and so now we have our title don't press enter on this because it actually just creates a new line I kinda just click away when I'm done okay and now we are ready to animate our chart okay so there's our chart title so I just clicked away okay let's go back to that previous chart and on this chart let's animate it so uh, charts are pretty cool when it comes to animations because you could add them in um, just the way that you want to present them when you're up there presenting so right here we have our um, column chart that we just worked on and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the animations tab which is right over here and then we want this to fade in so right here is the animations group and you can click the more button to see all of your entrance and exit effects okay so we have an entrance effect right there emphasis and exit effects when this comes in I want it to fade in and so after the slide is presented it'll fade in I'll click on fade on the entrance effect and you'll see it uh, fade in okay and so then what we're going to do is I want to say let's say I want it to fade in by um, a different order and so the way that I'm going to do that is going to the animations tab animation group check out these effect options over here instead of coming in as one object I could actually choose a bunch of different ways for it to come in let's choose by series in this case and you'll see that it shows athletics first then leisure then arts and it kinda just moves through them and so that would be a nice animation effect now you could obviously uh, make these come in on click so if you wanted to talk about them each individually and uh, you know kinda of discuss them one at a time you could set the, your set up your animations that way as well okay and so there we go that's how we animate that chart now what we're going to do with the rest of the animation effects on this one is let's go ahead and switch this back to as one object okay and see how that looks and then go by category see how that looks and then element in series there we go and so it really just depends on how you want to present these things but uh, that ultimately is up to you as um, the presenter okay and you can decide what you want to do with this animations option um, once you get your charts all set so hopefully this video has taught you how to create a column and a line chart more importantly it's taught you how to enter in those charts and how uh, to enter in the data and eventually adjust or delete your data and then also how to um, 
uh, animate those charts once you have them finished as well as modify and uh, change the style of them. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a comment or question, put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.